I used to have a really bad feeling about detonating a nuke within spitting distance of my nuts, but then the developer messaged me on Twitter and told me to try looking up. Now I have a really bad feeling. Oh no! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to Kill It With Fire, that game that makes you think you might have a bit of a spider problem, because when you find something with eight legs that's the size of a puppy running around your house, then there's mild cause for concern, but it turns out things are way worse than we had expected. Like society has fallen, everyone else has been eaten, we're the last person left alive, and spiders have taken over everything. To the point where last episode, we dropped a nuke to flatten the entire city. Now today, we're gonna find out whether or not that plan actually worked. Considering we somehow survived the blast, I get the feeling we may have just made things worse. Paper Trail, Sunday, June 22nd, 2020, 4.28 p.m. So we're gonna rewind to shortly before the nuke gets dropped, because apparently to see the true ending of this game, you not only need to finish all of the objectives, but also all of the Arachno Gauntlet challenges. I think we've done all of the objectives so far, but there should be a few challenges waiting for us. And it's very important to remember that there are still many, many spiders alive at this point in time. So I'm gonna have to keep an eye out and make sure that none of them eat my ass. I know that there's a good chance we can survive this, but at the same time, I don't want them to devour this delicious cake. We had a lot of huge revelations last episode explaining what's happening in this game, but I still have so many questions left unanswered. Like this weird little donut hiding spider. If I shoot you, there's a strong possibility that you're gonna explode? Like, did a tarantula and a stick of dynamite mate and abandon the child? It doesn't make any sense. We have no idea why the spiders are the way they are. What's actually happening here? We know we're trying to deal with them, which makes perfect sense because some of them glow in the dark, but... Wait, that wasn't my doing, was it? This is pre-nuke, not post-nuke, so... I'm not taking any responsibility for this, I'm just gonna... Oh, wait, crap. No, I wasn't supposed to kill them! I, I needed them for the stupid Arachno Gauntlet Challenge. Th that's another thing! Why is there a nuclear beatbox that's whispering creative ways of killing spiders in my ear? It, it just doesn't add up! I mean, are you really that surprised that a guy with a red dot sight on his clipboard doesn't know what's going on? He wants me to kill 10 spiders using 10 different methods. Sure, why not? Just gonna chug an energy drink to slow down time and then see if we can find something to smoosh. <laughs> Excuse me, can I interest you in a very accurate clipboard? Oh crap, oh crap, no, please die. There we go, you're dead. Okay, that's one, <laughs> two, and moving on to three. That's the good stuff. Maybe up. Four, oh crap, no, don't, don't run. No, please come back. <laughs> crap, 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 uh, energy drink, energy drink. I don't want to waste a whole lot of time. Who, who else wants some out of this? We'll make that four. RPG could be five. <laughs> it's really hard to keep track. Like, does fire count as one or is it multiple? It's really hard to tell. Okay, that, that should be another one. We're still at four. Crap, 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 crap. Did dynamite count yet? Drink a little bit more dynamite. And that's five. Okay, another energy drink, another energy drink. <laughs> what else have we got? Frying pan, there we go. That's the good stuff, excuse me. There we go. Anything else? Uh, oh, shotgun. Yeah, we haven't used most of the guns yet. I could find them. Break, they keep hiding on me. At uh, seven, okay. <laughs> uh, silencer. Anybody else wanna pop out? Oh yeah, here we go. Eight? Uh, what have we not done yet? See, it's so easy to lose track. Uh, oh, uh, there we go, the, the lawnmower, of course. <laughs> the messiest of them all. Uh, drink out, no, not right now, spiders, please, please, please stop, hold on. Just, just let me, let me smoosh you, smooshies. That's nine. Ah, uh, crap. <gasps> Ninjas, yes, okay, shurikens, shuriken, ah. Yes! <laughs> 10 different ways of ruining my office. Ah, it's fine. It's all gonna be consumed in nuclear fire soon enough. 
Contingency Omega, Sunday, June 22nd, 2020, 6.01 p.m. So it took us about an hour and a half to fight our way through the building and complete that last Arachno Gauntlet challenge, which isn't too bad, considering we were fighting giant radioactive explosive man-eating spiders. But now we've made our way into our personal office where we should be able to reach the not so safe nuclear bunker. Right, so the, let me just give you guys a quick recap as to what's going on in my private bathroom and the thought process that went into securing this place. When you're put in charge of hiding a weapon that's so powerful that it could wipe out humanity, then you definitely want to hide it behind your toilet. Which I know sounds a little stupid, but trust me, once you combine that with a reverse reality mirror, then things get real dumb. And you find yourself a piece of glass that reflects what can't be seen as opposed to what can be seen. No one would ever figure that out, they're just going to be confused while they poop. Now obviously no one would ever think to flush a toilet in a bathroom, so you don't need to worry about people accidentally uncovering the secret entrance. But if they did, don't worry, they can't get in because we have a padlock. Not a door lock or a deadbolt or something like that, a padlock on the door. You know, the kind of thing that can barely stop a kid's bike from getting stolen. Uh... Did a spider just try to steal my TV while I was in the bathroom? <laughs> I mean, joke's on him, the door is locked. All doors are locked around here, and you'd have to have a real wrinkly brain to think to look in a desk for a key. <laughs> Keeping them within arm's reach always gets people confused. Now, once again, if someone did manage to figure that out, we've got a backup. A vault door. That looks pretty safe, right? There's no way you can get through that easily. Which is exactly why our head of security, Elmo, decided to issue the security contract to Fisher Price. I mean, you'd have to be able to match multiple colors and numbers to access this nuke. Just because there are some functional geniuses out there that can remember phone numbers and credit card numbers and birthdays and stuff like that doesn't mean that the everyman can do this. I see absolutely no problem with flashing the code in the other room because getting over here and then punching it in takes an incredible amount of skill. I have trained my entire life to remember six, one, seven, four. This is why they pay me the big bucks. For a second there, I thought that was going to be wrong and that would be dreadfully embarrassing, but no! Welcome to the nuclear vault. On our right, we've got cool water. On the left, energy drinks. And through these doors, we've got what is probably a lot of spiders and not many co-workers. Right. We need to find three launch keys, which are probably in the piles of spider poop that used to be my friends. You know what's really weird? The spiders have never actually attacked me. But they've jumped at me and they've spat at me and they've made some gurgly noises, but they've never tried to eat me as far as I can tell. Maybe it's just because I'm that good of an exterminator, but at the same time, I don't understand how they devoured all of humanity and I'm just cruising along. That's a good sound, I'm sure. I'm gonna ignore all the spiders, okay? I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of you for the Rackham Gauntlet Challenge anyway, so the more they're around, the better. I think through here is right. We've got the vault. We're gonna need all the weapons we can get. I'm only just now noticing my peers didn't stand a chance. Like it was a surprise spider attack or something like that because they never even got to the vault. It was locked and behind boxes. They didn't get to touch any of this stuff. We've seen evidence in the cafeteria of them barricading themselves in and stuff like that, but this must have been an absolute slaughter. Feels bad, man. I don't understand why I'm cruising along. It's just it's really, really weird. Maybe the spiders like me? I can't imagine they like me. I'm a bit of a dick. Imagine sitting on a yoga ball for eight hours a day next to a giant nuclear fusion reactor. It's like, yeah, my core strength is great, but my balls now shoot dust. Like, you really need to prioritize. I guess it doesn't really matter if you get turned into spider poop, but... At the same time, oh, wait a second. I need to figure out what it is I need to do. Once I put this key in and drop the nuke, what was my challenge? All it's telling me to do is execute contingency Omega. Like, I know that much. We hit the button, the lights go out, and then bad things happen for both spiders and for me. <laughs> Just give it a second. It takes a while to get a nuke moving. 
I used to have a really bad feeling about detonating a nuke within spitting distance of my nuts, but then the developer messaged me on Twitter and told me to try looking up. Now I have a really bad feeling. Oh no! <laughs> No, thank you. You can suck it. Uh, you know what? We might need something a little bigger. There we go. Please tell me I can kill you. Right? Do you feel pain? Uh, bigger, you say? Yeah, let's go with RPGs. I mean, okay, I need to kill 30 spiders. This thing has to count for one. It counted for one. Okay, let's slow down time and then bring the pain drain. Oh, no, we can't use fire because it's gonna take too long for them to burn. We need explosives. Maybe some explosives in the other rooms. This is why I left so many of them alive. Come on now. There we go. You guys can all die. Uh, what else? What else? We got flamethrower? No, that's gonna be too slow. We're gonna, we're gonna slow down time. We got 23 of them. I might actually be able to pull this off. Just gotta take a breather. Everything is fine. We killed the mini bus sized spider above us. Uh, frying pan is actually pretty good, right? It's just one shot kill everything that we can see. We can see anything. 29. Oh, oh, I might actually do it. I might actually pull it off. Yes, 30. I did it. So, are you not going to detonate now? Or do I need to defuse you? Something tells me you're not supposed to defuse a nuke with a frying pan. Should I keep bringing the pain? I, I can do that too. Going for the new high score. <laughs> I can't believe the mother spider only counted for one. Who's doing the counting? That sounds completely ridiculous. There we go, challenge complete. So, we don't need to set off the nuke anymore, right? Wrong. I, I killed the big one. It only took like half a dozen RPGs. Oh. Oh, I thought we had saved the city, but nope. <laughs> Still gonna nuke it. <laughs> all right, well, either way, we've now completed all of the objectives, all of the arachno challenges. I think we found every weapon. All that's left for us to do is the final chapter. Whatever that might be, I don't understand how we survived this. I should be bacon. Three months later, I'm assuming this is a different city. There's no way it's the same city, right? Do I still, I still have my weapons? Of course I do. Probably wouldn't need those weapons unless there were spiders around. Are there any spiders around? Doesn't seem like it, that's a little weird. What do we have here? Here we go. This is exactly what I was looking for. I needed to complete four arachno gauntlets to get through this door. So what's waiting for us on the other side? <laughs> Every time I open a door, I expect to find a six foot tall spider, but I already killed it. It's just a, another office with a present. Ooh, and an upgrade. Nuclear generator. Okay. I guess we have, like, infinite power for our spider tracker now? I don't think that's particularly useful if there are no more spiders, but sure! What's in the present? Goose mode? Goose mode? I have absolutely no idea what the hell goose mode means, but I'm just gonna keep exploring and see whether or not we've doomed humanity. Oh, that's not good. Do you think that's because the spiders ate them all, or because I blew them all up? I mean, you can't post a bunch of posters if you're dead, right? Oh, no, we definitely set off the nuke. <gasps> this does not look good, nor does it make a lot of sense. What's with all the speakers? Not seeing anyone around, or any spiders for that matter. We've got a pretty sweet apocalypse van. I appreciate this. All right, weird. Oh, what do we have here? Uh, the last dance. My incredibly accurate clipboard is telling me to face the music, and then this button is telling me to face the consequences. I don't really like consequences 
or this much music in all reality. I think that's a hard pass. I I've still got two more things left to find. There's got to be something around here somewhere for me. Really weird that we're not picking up any kind of danger, though. I'm confused. Oh, here's something. What do you want from me? Treasure trove. Open the downstairs office. The downstairs office, which we needed six Arachno Gauntlet challenges to do. All right. We're going to get into the downstairs office and see what kind of secret secrets await us. We got another present and another upgrade. What are you? Arachnoscope. I'm so confused. What's in the present? Hopefully, cargo pants. I, I didn't need post-apocalypse cargo pants. Um, What do you think that is? It, it looks like a, a mix between a sled and a chainsaw. <gasps> Oh, saw launcher. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Don't I usually need something to launch saws at, though? I'm thinking we're getting ready for a boss battle here because <laughs> I feel like I've already faced the music. Is there anything else? Oh, we've got some explosives. Should I be setting these up? But finding them all over the place. I think I can just... Nope, nope, they're real sensitive. I'm not even going to ask why there's a rusty, undetonated nuke right outside our office. Kill it with fire, pest control. So we are an exterminator. And we used to have a partner. The other office upstairs was our partner's old office. I'm guessing he or she is spider poop now. Same thing with the downstairs office. Now all we have to do is face the music. I can't get in anywhere else, so I'm guessing they just want me to... Press the button. I'm ready. I'm ready. So ready. Oh, there's 40 of them, and I need to kill them all. What are they? What the hell, they're cockroaches. Did I actually get rid of all the spiders? <gasps> I think I did it. I think I actually won. Oh, wait, I, I should be, um, uh, yeah, of course I should be using this. I was going to say I should be slowing down time, but, oh. Yeah, this thing's got some kick to it. So am I just bored now? Like in the apocalypse, the only thing that survived was cockroaches. I've got nothing better to do than just launch saws at them out in the open. <laughs> I'm not a lunatic, you're a lunatic. <laughs> That's what the speakers are for. When you play the music loud enough, you rustle their jimmies, they come out of the woodworks. <laughs> yeah, what a buzzer beater. Okay, I'm totally not a sad old man who's left alone to hurt things in his spare time. Uh, oh, that wasn't the chainsaw that was vibrating. What's happening right now? Oh, what? Something tells me my revolver is not going to take that down. <laughs> Do you got anything for me, clipboard? No? Oh, you do! Step into the light! No? No. I, I guess? That's all that's left for me to do, but this seems like a mistake. The exterminator will return. Turn. So, was it a spider invasion or an alien invasion? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, you know what? I'm willing to bet that spaceship wasn't actually a spider's ship. It was infested by spiders. The spiders didn't just take over the world. They've taken over other planets. And other planets have heard of my expertise in dealing with them. So I'm being recruited. If there's going to be a sequel to this game where you fight spiders in space, be sure to leave a like on the video. Leave a comment if you guys want to see more because you know, I, I think that's going to be it for Kill It With Fire, guys. We've done everything. I 
I think they're planning updates for this game specifically. I don't know if I would really want to return just to mess around with a new weapon or two, but like I said, if there is a sequel, and especially if there's a sequel in space, then I think I'm probably gonna have to play more. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.